Hi, this is Dong Myung Ko. This is the second time that I try to review the exhibition uh, related to NFT or the artist strictly working in a digital media at Space 0055 in Seoul. I once wrote an article about what is criteria for contemporary arts, what kind of knowledge contemporary critics should have, because I met one Korean artist who is obsessed with the whole space age films like sci-fi fiction. And he kind of translated this kind of interesting character stories into paintings. And in order to understand his work, I have to be familiar with this kind of sci-fi or post-acalyptic animations and mangas. And I do think it's inevitable for the generations of contemporary critics and this exhibition on Andre, who is working as a director at a number of very famous films, such as Harry Potter's and all kinds of uh, Netflix movies. He's currently living in London, but he was educated in Russia. Or historically, we come across so many generations of uh, our geniuses or talents is coming from Eastern European countries because they were so trained in old painting techniques. Number two is very old mythological languages. We can see some of the things in the Klimt, some things in Renaissance art, but particularly in terms of a very much a, a mythic image. That is really common everywhere. Andre's painting exhibition, which is translated to NFT, is A, it's digitally painted. Number two, it has interesting combinations of watercolor and traditional oil painting technique. But for the most part, there is an intersection between traditional oil, realistic painting, along with some of the very elliptic, very iconic way of drawing characters in animations and manga. So they're kind of interesting combinations of contemporary and old painting practice. But for the most part, I actually asked him, the director of Space OO, the titles, because first work we actually watching this is a metaphor. Now we're familiar with this kind of concepts, not only in terms of how this kind of cyberspace taken over the physical space, but also we see the layers, layers of universe popping off from the inside world. And then there's kind of a realistic portrayal of these figures, whereas we see very elliptic, very iconic, and simplified representations of other world. And this kind of juxtapositions. If you look at it overall, it looks like just photo collage or something, but if you look at very closely, it's a human and very old-fashioned way of representing the human bodies. Even in the underbeds, we can see some surrealistic, very accidental kind of quality. There's movie, of course, as a underlying layers of different words, but we can also compare to this old-fashioned Michelangelo's, uh, the paintings of uh, uh, heaven and hell because these old times there'll be layers of different layers of peoples who is existing this word and that word the word of hell and word of uh, redemption is coexisting as I look at more and more this is really the area that the new generation kind of popping up with old languages the title and metaphors but also the, uh, the other title is Keepers. And you see the kind of Keepers. The Keepers is a very common language, and the snow is another really kind of common language used among the generations who become familiar with the digital space. We tended to call them MZ generation. I don't know exactly what that means, but there's kind of way to giving up the hint of these characters without any specific ideological indications. It's more like a free-flowing uh, characters in, in some fantasy world, like a keepers, like snow, something related to ethical, but more poetic. 
there's a lot of these things. It's a、uh, very religious if you look at it, and some parts it's like ET, and this whole wild drop looks like a traditional Catholic、uh, uh, minister, but at the same time they're very much exotic figures like Indian figures. It's kind of really almost unexpected combinations of different different cultural elements. It really belongs to their generation, and these two paintings, interesting. If you look at the Eastern European, we see、uh, very clipped, decorative, two-dimensional aspects of it. At the same time, very iconic painting in Eastern Byzantine paintings, we can see very realistic portrayal of human figures. But at the same time, this figure looks like a fashion model, so kind of confused. This commercial image, but as well as religious painting, this kind of come together.、Um, why don't we move to this very interesting movie? We wonder what this character is. I mean, himself as well as his work. He's director, art director. Then we we wonder whether his painter. Designer or animation creator, he can be everything. Here, he's actually making new film out of his drawings. Yes, we know、uh, this whole series of uh, uh, apocalyptic, but very medieval movies that become really popular, starting with the Lord of the Ring. We know this kind of Lord of the Ring types of scenario.、Uh, Originated from the post 1940、uh, novels in Britain, and this is very interesting combination of that kind of ethical sense of the、uh, omen、uh, and redemption, but at the same time the images here, the characters is like a very Marvel age heroic movies, but what you have to see is how this effect is different. From typical movies that we're witnessing, much more color and much more diversity, and there's a kind of interesting combination of movement as well as pause. What I was thinking is if the NFT can be considered to be either painting or three-dimensional sort of films, it can be both. Because you can control the movement of these figures in a way that the typical commercial films cannot do. Because commercial films, you actually have to think about your timing, temporal progression, in terms of narrative. But here, this has a narrative, but at the same time, it has a static image that much focus on aesthetic appreciation. So sometimes, its movement is very slow. So that you can appreciate it, this kind of whole fragments of image as a painting, but at the same time, this image is actually moving inside these figures because most of them actually created for, for the three dimensional, and then now in time, in other words, fourth dimension.、Uh, that's a really interesting aspect of future of the painting, what I call the moving painting, which is different from what we have perceived. As a media art. Thank you.